How's it going everyone? Bass here. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about a draft need that I feel not enough people are talking about. That's on the defensive side of the ball and that is at the safety position. Now obviously the Packers have, some would say, uh, even bigger need at positions such as wide receiver, uh, right tackle, and even edge. But the Packers really desperately need a third safety and then also just in general, a safety for the future. The Packers current safety room for the upcoming 2022 season is as follows. Obviously, we have Adrian Amos and Darnell Savage, uh, also Vernon Scott, Sean Davis, and Ennis Gaines. So two of which are proven starters in the NFL, and the rest is just one big question mark. Firstly, Vernon Scott had zero defensive snaps for the Packers last year. Honestly, I thought he'd make a little bit of a second year jump. He didn't. And he only has to 90 total snaps his entire NFL career on defense. Sean Davis also has zero defensive snaps in the NFL. His first year in the NFL was last year. And then you guessed it, in his gains, also zero snaps on defense last year and in his entire career. That is extremely little play time for a potential third safety, a position that is used a lot in the Joe Barry defense. Also to note, safety coach Ryan Downard said today that Savage may be playing some slot this upcoming season for furthering the need for another safety in this draft. As we know, earlier this year, the Packers decided to not tender restricted free agent Henry Black, which I do agree with. But last year, Henry Black had 262 total defensive snaps or 24.3% of total snaps. And that's with Adrian Amos and Darnell Savage receiving 97.3% and 96.4% snaps, respectively. So it's very clear a third safety, like I said, is used a lot in this Packers defense, this Joe Barry defense, nearly a fourth of the total snaps. Not to mention Henry Black also had 334 snaps on special teams, which was the second most on the entire team, which a third safety uh, drafted would contribute there as well in, in an already bad special teams unit. They need more talent there. So for comparison, I know a lot of people will say, well, edge is a very big need for this upcoming draft. The Packers need to select an edge early. But I think the same is with safety. I, I, I think they're pretty equal in my opinion, and I'll explain to you why. So Preston Smith and Rashawn Gary both played about 64% of snaps last year. John Garvin and T. Panali played 36.7% and 34.2% respectively. So yes, a third edge player does play more than a third safety, but the difference is the Packers have two uh, third and fourth edge guys that have played snaps in the NFL, whereas the safety has none. Now, don't get me wrong. I still want the Packers to select an edge player within their first four picks but I also want one of those picks to be used on a safety. Another point I want to make is for the future at safety for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, since the Packers have not accepted the fifth-year rookie option for Darnell Savage's contract yet, which I fully believe they will do so, the only safety under contract for the 2023 season is Vernon Scott, a guy with 90 total defensive snaps and zero last year. Adrian Amos is set to be a free agent in 2023, and who knows if Green Bay will re-sign him at 30 years old, although he's been playing really, really well as of late. So yes, safety is indeed a big need in this draft. So to end this video off, I want to go over a few prospects I would like the Packers to select with their one of their first four picks at safety. And these are in no real order. I honestly like all these guys, but first one being Daxton Hill out of Michigan, six foot, 191 pounds and 21 years old. He is very likely to go in the top 50. Uh, he could even sneak into the first round there. An elite speed defensive back, ran a 4-3-8-40. He played a lot of slot for Michigan, but also some safety and box safety, and he is projected to be a safety in the NFL. He also had the best 20-yard shuttle and three cone in the combine of any safety, and he's very versatile, and I think he would fit wonderfully in the Joe Barry defense. The second player being Jalen Petre. You've probably heard me talk about him a lot in my mock draft videos. I like him a lot out of Baylor. 5'11", 198 pounds. He's about to be 23 years old. Very similar to Daxon Hill. Has great speed. He ran a 4'4", 340, and he's also very versatile. Had majority of snaps in the slot, just like Daxon Hill, but also in the box. Deep six safety and even on the D line to rush the passer. He played in the star position on the Baylor defense, a position Joe Barry likes to use, and he should also be a top 50 pick for sure. Next, I have Lewis Seen, who's from Georgia, 6'2", 199 pounds, and is 22 years old. And he's really been flying up draft boards recently, and for the right reason. A speedy 4.3740 violent hitter and probably the best run defending safety in this entire class. Mainly been at deep safety for Georgia, but also has played some slot and box where he excels in man coverage. And honestly, I could see him sneaking into the first round as well. 
Allen being the next safety taken after Hamilton out of Notre Dame. But again, surely a top 50 pick. Lastly, Jaquan Brisker out of Penn State, 6'199 pounds and 23 years old. Now he is the slowest out of these four guys, but all those three prior guys are extremely, extremely fast. Jaquan Brisker still ran a 44940, but he's likely the best coverage guy, especially in the box. He's fantastic in zone coverage, covering tight ends and running backs, which the Packers very much struggled with in the past few years, and also a physical hitter and a nice tackler. And I also think he would be a great, great third safety for the Green Bay Packers. All four of these guys would be a great third safety for the Packers. And you could even add Brian Cook from Cincinnati to this list as well. Like I said, I think the Packers definitely need to spend one of their four top 60 picks on one of these guys. And it would improve their defense a ton for this upcoming year and in the future as well. But I would like to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you believe safety is a big as need as I do? And do you believe they should spend one of their four uh, top 60 picks on a safety? And do you like these uh, safeties that I mentioned? Or do you have some other guys in mind, maybe in the mid to late rounds, just comment that down below. But of course, if you are new here and you want more Packers news analysis and updates regarding the NFL draft, salary cap, and free agency, make sure to go down and click that subscribe button. Then if you guys could also leave a like on the video, it supports my channel a ton. But on that note, I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, Go Pack Go!